Speaking of Paramount, Paramount Animation has just announced their release schedule for their upcoming slate of films. <laughs> Included in the list of upcoming movies are The Little Prince, coming in March, Monster Trucks, a hybrid of live action and CGI animation, opening in January of 2017, SpongeBob SquarePants 3, coming in February of 2019, Amusement Park, which will open March 22nd, 2019, from veteran animation director Dylan Brown, known as the supervising animator on Ratatouille, and Finding Nemo, and directing animator on Toy Story, and finally, Sherlock Gnomes, a sequel to Gnomeo and Juliet, which will hit theaters on January uh, in January of 2018. John, do you buy or sell this lineup for Paramount Animation? Overall, I'm going to sell it. Um, it's like, this isn't like a Pixar lineup or a Disney lineup, or even a DreamWorks lineup. That There's a number of projects in there. Although, okay, while I'm going to sell it, there are two in there that have my curiosity. One is Amusement Park, mm -hmm. simply because you got one of the, the creative minds behind Ratatouille, Toy Story, things like that. On that basis alone, you at least right. have to have your interest peaked. I mean, Monster Truck sounds like it's going to be a bad Cars ripoff with a little bit of live action incorporates. So I, 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 who knows? There's nothing there to make me get excited at this point. Movie's years away, though, so plenty of time to get excited. So I'm kind of curious about Amusement Park. And I gotta say, I found the first Nomeo and Juliet, while not a wonderful movie, I thought it was cute, and I thought it was charming. And the idea about Sherlock Gnomes, that's kind of cute. They're getting some of the voice talent back from the original. So I'm curious about that. But overall, I, I very little interest in their little Prince project, very little interest in another square, bo uh, square uh, SpongeBob, <laughs> square pants, square, square bottom. bottom, square bottoms. Uh, he's a sponge, and his pants are kind of square. He's kind of spongy, and he lives under the water. <laughs> and uh, very little interest in Monster Truck. So, so overall, while I do believe there are some shining things in there, overall, I'm going to give it a sell for now. What about you, Schnapp? Yeah, I'm totally selling this. This feels like like the throwaways that Pixar left in their garbage can. And then somebody from Paramount was like sifting through what it. What have like, got? What's in here? Here's like a Stephen, Stephen King like kind of joke movie about the maximum overdrive. It's called Monster Trucks, but it's got a comedic edge. Take it, take it. What else do they have? It's a Nomeo and Juliet, but it's with Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Gnomes? That made me, my stomach quivered when I read that this no, morning. No, you get it like, though, because Gnomes sounds I, like Holmes. As long as Ozzy's in it. I don't, I don't think care. you get it, Schnepp. What? Holmes yeah. rhymes with no. Oh my God! No, it's I got a play it. On words. It's still garbage. I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm with you though. The amusement park one. The only reason that, that I clicked on that one, I was like, oh, they're gonna have like talking roller coasters, and they're gonna have that weird squid thing that makes you throw up, and that's gonna be alive and talking, right? Uh, I have no yeah, idea. I I'm making it up. I, I don't know. I sell it. Mark. I have a heart, gentlemen. I'm going to buy this simply because I'm not. if I'm prospecting scouts for the Yankees, I'm not hoping you're the next Babe Ruth, okay? I just want you to be able to get on the field and play ball, and it looks like this lineup can do that with the one exception of the Little Prince. I despise the Little Prince, almost on a Fantasia level to me. Damn. I'm not a strong reader, and I'm not great at speaking French. I had to do both those <laughs> things in 10th grade. We had to actually read the Little Prince. It was entirely in French, Le Petit Prince, or whatever the hell it is, and I flunked out of French. It didn't because make you cry because I didn't understand it. I didn't. I, I got through three pages. And I was like, I don't know how to conjugate a verb in English, much less in French. <laughs> Everything else about this seems cool, though. The SpongeBob had so much potential in that movie that it didn't. It wasn't fully realized in that flick, but I think they can do that. So I want to see more SpongeBob and monster trucks. I'm a dude who was born in North Carolina. You throw monster trucks at me, I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of those things. Plus, amusement <laughs> parks. We can all agree mm. sounds like a winner. And I like the first Nomeo and Juliet more than I thought I would. Is Elton John gonna do Sherlock? Gnomes too. Yes, <laughs> I want to see yes, most of these movies. With it. Yes. So I mean, look, overall, I don't love the slate as much as I love something like a Pixar slate or obviously a Marvel or Star Wars slate. But this seems exciting. I think it's going to be okay. Mark, you, know, you convince me. I'm going to pull the Little Prince out, and I'm buying that one because <laughs> all the other garbage I forgot about Little Prince. I got to pull that out of the garbage and put that. That's I'm buying that. I think Little Prince is great. I got to give it a shot. As, so as a Canadian, I had to take uh, I had to take French till grade ten, like from grade four to grade ten. Yeah, I had to take French. But I, I'm just, did you have I'm to just, read the Little Prince in um, French? We, I know we had to read the, read the Little Prince. I don't know if we did it in French, though. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. Sinead, I'm curious. You're looking at this list of animations that coming out. Which one appeals to you the most? Which one do you see on this list? You go, yeah, I'll look forward to that one. Uh, probably Amusement Park, just because it sounds different. Yeah. Um, I agree. When, when I read Monster Trucks, I thought of Cars. Mm -hmm. And the SpongeBob movie didn't really... Um, it didn't do it for me. I was really excited about the like SpongeBob becoming or going to the big screen, and it just didn't do it. So I'm not you didn't excited. You love the dolphin scene. 
The no. dolphin was I mean, great. Like, yeah, it was a good movie. I just, I think I, I grew up with SpongeBob. Like that was the cartoon you watched every day. So I had like huge hopes and it just didn't deliver. I heard that one of the ones that they did not use was Christmas Bush, uh, which was uh, originally came from <laughs> Sinead DeFries. I'll let her explain that sometime. All right, what's next, Sinead? <laughs> God, that just sounds like so many different things, John. It sounds yeah. like one thing to and me. You're the one who said it. I'm just <laughs> no, this was an in- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this was an innocent joke that happened. Ray Ora brought in a Christmas bush this morning. He yeah. said we got like a little tree. tree. It's a Christmas, Christmas tree, tree, but it's a, tree. it's a little tiny. It's a little sad looking. Yeah. I said, looks like a Christmas bush. Yeah. And we just <laughs> started it. making up an animated cartoon that I think Paramount Pictures <laughs> should buy from us immediately <laughs> because their slate's so horrible. Christmas bush. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.